Hey Red Raiders, so we are in break right now. Uh, right now I'm in that really awkward stage between Christmas and New Year's where you just have a little wiggle room and you don't really know what to do. And most of the time you're stuck with relatives or you're just stuck back home and you have no idea what to do. So for this video, I thought it'd be fitting if I gave y'all some ideas on things to do while you're on break. So this could be for Thanksgiving break, winter break, spring break, summer break, anything. So yeah, let's get on to the videos. I've got some good tips for y'all. All right, so first things first, and this one mainly applies to the end of the fall semester and the end of the spring semester, whenever you're taking your finals. As soon as your break starts, I would definitely recommend just like catching up on sleep and getting organizing, getting organized and make sure you de-stress because especially during that finals time period, you are going to be very stressed. You're gonna be sometimes lacking sleep because of all the studying. So as soon as you have um, a little time, take a break, just relax, get yourself organized, eat breakfast, eat lunch, eat dinner, and make sure you relax and just breathe for a little bit. So another advice that I would give with this is that if you're planning on going back home, do not schedule that directly after you finish your final and then you head back home. What personally I would do is take a little gap day in between your last final and a day that you just go back home. Or you could just take a longer time period. But this basically allows you to decompress, de-stress, and you're in a comfortable environment where uh, you don't really have to rush to do anything. Because if you... Uh, take your final and then literally like an hour later you drive home you're going to be stressing out not only about the final but packing getting things ready so i would definitely recommend having that little gap in between your finals and break all right my next tip this is a great time to spend with your family and friends so i know this sounds kind of obvious but definitely don't take it for granted especially once you go on break make sure to hit your friends up if you see that they're in town be like hey Let's go to Denny's. Let's go get coffee. Let's do something. This is a great way to kind of take you out of that college rhythm and you get to really reconnect with your old friends and see what they're up to. It's another great time to reconnect with your family as well, especially if you have like other siblings that you don't see very often or if you have traveled a lot or maybe it's the first time seeing them uh, after a semester. It's definitely a great time to really see your siblings, see your family, see your childhood pets also, see your dogs, see your cats. It's always nice whenever they're like, they get so excited whenever you come back home. So yeah, that's definitely something to look forward to. I know in my family, we play um, games during the holidays. So we play dominoes. We also watch Christmas movies. And we also just do like some projects around the house. So it's very fun and it's a great opportunity to reconnect with your family. All right, the next tip goes with health and fitness. So for me, I like to take break as a great time to really just like get back on track on eating right, especially if like after finals, you know, you're eating like a gremlin, you're eating dinner at like 2 a.m. sometimes, and that's totally normal, you know? Uh, but break is a great time to really get back on your regular rhythm, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, eat healthy. And I would also recommend you use this time, especially if you have excess time, to really like just get outside, get some fresh air, do some exercise. Uh, yeah, that's my best advice. I don't know what else to give you all. I'm not like a nutritionist. Uh, Texas Tech is a nutritionist. I'm going to do a quick plug. I'll put that down in the description below. All right, the next tip is kind of optional. Uh, I've never done this, but I know people that do, and that is getting a job over break. So this specifically goes more into winter break and summer break where you have more time to actually work a job. But I guess you could also do it like Thanksgiving, spring break, if you just pick up like any freelance gigs. But um, this is a great time to also just save up on money. If you worked somewhere before in your hometown and you hit them back up over break, you're uh, more than likely, if you did good, you know, they're gonna give you your job back so you could do whatever you were doing before. So it's a great way to save up on money and also see the people that you worked with before if they're still there. My sister, she actually did this. So over the winter break, she would work at Parks and Rec. Uh, and coincidentally, I also work there. 
So whenever she would come back, uh, I remember she came back for a spring break one time and I was also working there. So I got to work with her as she was on break. So I thought that was pretty cool. So it's definitely something that I would recommend if you are just like bored at home. But if you wanna chill, that's also completely fine. All right, so for my last tip, this is very similar to my first tip. Give yourself a few days between the day classes start and the day you are going to travel back. So this is very important because if you do not give yourself those days, and if you come back one day and then the next day you start classes, you are going to be overwhelmed. You are going to be very stressed. But if you give yourself a couple of days, then that gives you time to really organize what you're gonna do, organize your class schedule, organize your apartment, uh, get some grocery shopping done, get the things that you need for the semester, and then it's just gonna flow way easier. So a good start to the semester is always very important, and that is the first step to have a good start. Make sure that you are not stressful, make sure you are in a calm state. So yeah, that's my last tip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm currently back home, as you guys can see there is, this is not Lubbock, Texas, this is uh, Puerto Rico. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the break and I hope to see you guys next semester.